Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today, the start of something I hope is going to be very, very special. So this is the first part of um, a, a kind of mini campaign that has been written by one of the members of my Discord server, uh, Divi Walker, who's also here live um, in Twitch chat, um, which is very exciting. And there's a whole bunch of alternate history and background and things like this uh, to go with this scenario. But this is the very first one. Uh, so Germany uh, has kind of emerged as the, the only stable power um, post a, a First World War and is just about to launch the first new battleship um, of the post-war era, excuse me. However, um, things are not going to go according to plan because the British, who by this point have become extremely nationalistic, are not happy that the Germans uh, now have the most powerful ship on the seas, or at least that's the plan. So let's get into the design. So this will be the Anholt. And uh, you wanted me to use the Dreadnought 3. Is that right, Dreadnought Walker? This one. Sure you don't want me to use a 4? Is very nice. <laughs> okay, we can make this a big boy. Uh, now it's kind of best of everything. the The best gun in this era is a fourteen inch, but the fifteens might work. But a six. If I'm going fifteens, I might as well go sixteen. Um. Yeah, you do want me on a Dreadnought 3. Fine. Um, yeah, and it has to be the best tech in the world. So we're going to have, obviously, very long range. We're going to have maximum bulkheads. Uh, speed is going to be stupidly fast at 28 knots minimum. Uh, we need a radio. Ooh, RDF. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, all the latest te techs. Um, and now let's see if we can actually get this thing going at that speed. Um, actually, put the casements in, I think. Oh, is this the one where you can do the tiered design? It is. Okay, uh, let's go with eight. It's going to be really hard to get this in the way. We'll try though. Uh, uh, eight, say six. Threes. I really, I, 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 I am a sucker for that. <laughs> Tiered, ship of the line style, secondary armament. Eight, six, three might be a bit much though. Might be better to go just like. Might use definitely threes there. So, yeah, it might work. Do, do, do. Well, you did say the best tech of everything, um, knowing that, I, that I'd go for those towers. Um, I do like them. Okay. Uh, wow, minus 100. Okay. So we'd have two. Two of those? Not quite. I'm going to have to go with oil and gear turbines. No. Tool funnel ones? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, engine efficiency is not quite enough, but it is now. Uh, okay. A steel monster. I certainly am. Why do we go 16 inch guns? <laughs> Screw subtlety. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Gonna need a barbet then. Ship is overweight. You don't say. <laughs> 
yeah, this is this is going to be tricky to to get it under the weight. Uh, put it here. I've got eight inch casemate, but it's on a level with the six. Let me go with like a couple of six inch. There we go. What do you think so far? A bit of an half weight offset. Mind you, we do have triples, don't we? Ah, much better. There we go. Uh, right. Weight is going to be a serious issue, though. Might not be able to get away with the 16 inch guns. Uh, let's go with the uh, the 15s then. Saves a little bit of weight. Um, 15s and then maybe a unified 6 inch. So these two decks are the same, and then we've got the threes on top. Uh... <laughs> hey, you say best tech, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go all out. Right. Um I wonder if we can actually get literally all the uh, literally all the best tech in. Uh, yeah, 121% overweight. Um, do, 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 do. Is it, it is similar to the Stoltz. Yeah, even with all the guns taken off, it's too heavy. Definitely not going to get away with this. Um, let's go with anti torpedo. Hmm. You know what? Uh, guns. Can have 14 dual. Oh. as was originally requested. Okay, 112%. Okay. Hey there, Mitch. How you doing? Uh, Dreadnought 3. Uh, I'm trying to pack all the tech into, this, into one ship. It's proven tricky. Yeah, 112%. Hmm. How much do we save with advanced hydraulic? No, not enough to make a difference. Not enough to make a difference. Be the torpedo protection. Um. The trouble is, there's a lot of fancy tech unlocked. Uh, I don't want to go lower than 14. Hmm. Do, do, do. Ranger bulk kits can go down. Okay. Uh, so the difference between the 3 and the 4 for the Germans is the 3 has this break. So it has a lower rear section or aft section. Um, whereas the 4 doesn't. The case the casemates go right, right along like that. Um, I'm going to see it there. Uh, just trying to think what I can drop. I mean, I could go down to Anti Torpedo 2. And maybe. Hmm. Well, uh, the design restriction was 28 knots minimum, so I can't reduce the speed very much. 
Um, Tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Because 5% is not nothing. Even if I get rid of the anti torpedo, I'm overweight. Although that gets close, that is far too risky. Hmm. Mind you, I hate 14 inch guns, so. Why don't we do something a little bit more radical? The old ways are the best ways. Mm. See, that doesn't save that much. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Right. It has to be 15s? Okay. If you say so, that just makes the problem worse. But, um... Does a 15 inch gun fit there? Oh, it does. Okay. Well, I'm afraid um, the Chancellor is asking too much. <laughs> I cannot have the latest tech and 15 inch guns and 28 knots of speed. So, I'm afraid the Chancellor... He's going to have to choose what goes. Um, I can go down to standard bulk kids and standard range. I can go down to, say, an anti torpedo 2 with a double bottom hull. It's getting close. There you go, anti torpedo 1 and a double bottom hull. Or. I can do this with. Maybe 12 inch belt. Uh, I've done the range bulkheads. <laughs> Run around there. Okay. It's pretty expensive. 72 million for one of these things. Uh, and we have a four weight offset, which I'll have to deal with. There we go. Does that meet with the Chancellor's approval? <laughs> Try my best to meet the uh, specifications there. Yabal. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Chancellor von Orca. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay, they've got much old... Those are two heavy cruisers, the old style ones. Looks like we've got some modern light cruisers, which is pretty nice. Um, okay, let's have a look. We have the destroyers here. Big. Hmm, they could prove... Useful. Got lots of torpedoes too. It's quite nice. And we have pretty decent light cruiser. Oh, well done, AI. Not bad. Okay. Um, I'm going to just put them in their own division, and I'm just going to have them as a division, because the enemy is uh, this way. I'm just going to do it like that.
There we go. Okay, hopefully the cruiser is in the the other the other light ships will sort themselves out. I do like RDF um, giving that range indication. That's very cool. Hey there, LBG. How you doing? Uh, yes, there was a variation on the Taskmaster that you came up with, which was uh, 1418 rather than um, going for uh, the, what was it, 2723? You got a queue of 3.1. That, that is, that is, that's impressive. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, it's pretty hard to use the queue at the moment in UAD because um, the game doesn't tell you um, like total cost of ships sunk or anything like that. Um, which would be handy because you have to manually ID it and write it all down. It's a bit labour intensive, but um, I think it's... I like it as a way of kind of telling how well you did. Oh, come on. We've got a heavy cruiser. Interesting. Battleship. And the second heavy cruiser. No, sorry, second battleship there. So two battleships and a heavy cruiser. Okay. Looks like they are going this way. So let's form up a parallel course. Hopefully the uh, other ships will... Ah, they're in loose, that's why. Ow. Rude. Oh, hello. That was a pretty big hit on that uh, heavy cruiser. Uh, Sunless uh, saying we need to make the most insanely maths heavy um, uh, taskmaster that we can. <laughs> yeah, well, I um, I was having a chat with a with a friend about how how to measure success in Ultimate Admiral, and believe me, uh, Q was a very much simpler <laughs> prospect than some of the others that we came up with <laughs> only involves uh, you know subtraction and division I thought that was pretty uh, pretty uh, pretty light to be honest wow okay that heavy cruiser absolutely wrecked and uh, yeah gone. Standard blockheads. Not a lot of armor on those heavy cruisers. Uh, Cordite. Okay. That sucks for you. Annoyingly, the torpedoes from the Stettin Stettin um, going to sail past where the Donegal was going to be, but they might threaten the battleships up at the back. Uh, minimum bulkheads on the battleships. Armor is pretty weak. Uh, tube powder, though. Okay. So should be able to poke holes in them and get them to sink. Hello there, Alaric. Nice to see you. Good morning. 
good afternoon or good evening or whatever it is wherever you are yeah absolutely yeah we had really complicated stuff involving crew uh, tonnage costs um, <laughs> class of ship because obviously losing a battleship even if it is a cheap and rubbish one is uh, very much a morale blow and trying to factor that into the into the cost and stuff like that and yeah it got ludicrously complicated <laughs> Oh, hello. Range 9, 5. Okay, that's probably fired at the battleship then. Rude. And now I've lost it. Might have been fired at the heavy cruiser. A uh, light cruiser, even. But it's more likely that they're trying to hit the battleship with that. How many torpedoes do they carry? Seven. In... Single launcher on the side? Yeah, single launcher on the side. Okay. Okay, I think we've avoided that torpedo. Yeah. Okay, the Stettin. Uh, detach. Suffered quite heavy damage and just retreat for me, please. Pillow can take up the screening duties. So, target the Aaron with your torpedoes, please. Oh yeah, uh, expenditure of ammunition. Yeah, that would be another one for sure. <laughs> A lot of people are intimidated by maths, but um, it's uh, it's often a perception issue and how it's introduced to people a lot of the time. Um, particularly when it gets onto things like algebra and calculus and stuff like that. Um, weirdly enough, I struggled with maths, still do, at the early stage, like uh, mental arithmetic. I'm terrible at it. Um, but I'm quite good with advanced maths concepts. Um, so, yeah, it, it just depends what you're naturally inclined to um, but no, mass isn't that bad. Right, more heavy hits on that uh, cruiser over there. My light cruisers just get absolutely punished though. <laughs> there should not be letters in my numbers. I think you, uh, I think you mean there should not be uh, numbers in my letters. But um, okay. <laughs> It's not real mass until uh, there's more Greek symbols than there are anything else. <laughs> hmm. The uh, war spite over there. Hmm. Annoyingly, the has the pillow been replaced by the V1 at the lead of that formation? Yeah, it has good. Um, I'm just going to get the formation to target the battleships though. Looks like they've turned and are heading the other way. Okay, down goes the last cruiser. No, A tone speed does not give you uh, an L, it just gives you AB. <laughs> And A times A gives you A. It gives you a A squared, or two. Yeah. And A plus A gives you two A, and so on.
hey, Greek's not dead. <laughs> it's still spoken as an actual language. <laughs> Burn the witch. <laughs> uh, oh no, absolutely, Mitch. I mean, I'm a, I'm a teacher myself, so no, I, I fully understand that. You know, that's the whole thing about teaching. You have to recognise when people are struggling and give them that extra help and explain it to them in a different way, and you know, try and help them break it down and understand the steps and all, all this good stuff. That's why it's hard to learn stuff off YouTube um, because it's not responsive. Like the, you can watch videos on how to how to do maths but it's not a responsive thing. The alphabet, the Greek alphabet is not dead. Go to Greece <laughs> and you will see it. It's no more dead than uh, Krillig. <laughs> Any more maths, I'll fire you out of one of the cannons. <laughs> yeah, well, see, bitch, that, you know, you saying, oh, I, I need it broken down step by step. Everyone learns better when it is broken down step by step. People who can learn things without it being broken down step by step are lucky, but they would learn it better being broken down step by step. That's the trick to it. It's uh, it's not, you know, oh, I needed it broke. No, everyone needs it broken down, and everyone learns better when it is broken down. And you know, you have common uh, kind of issues explained to you. E equals MC squared. No, um, the way to type squared on a standard keyboard is with the little up hat um, character. <laughs> but yeah, E equals MC squared is, is uh, you know, very famous formula, but um, and looks simple, and it, it is simple, um, but very much just scratching the surface. Yeah, lots lots of people have um, have issues with algebra like that. W. A lot, lots of people find that uh, step from um, letters to numbers or numbers to letters really strange. Just messes with your heads. Um, but it's important when it's first shown to you and explained to you that whoever teaches it to you acknowledges the fact that people find it conceptually difficult. Um, I mean, really, it's just a, you know, it's an unknown number. That's all it is, or a variable, or a value. Um, again, from because I come from a physics background, most letters in equations and things have meanings. Um, so, I'm more used to that. Uh, the first one of those sunless. Uh, the second one is a delta that you typed, which means change in. <laughs> the the first one you typed, the little one that looks like a hat rather than the triangle. Yeah, that one, Dubai Walker. That means uh, to the power of. Um, so if you're trying to type type it and you don't have a mathematical notation thing going, that's what you can use. Right, the Triumph here, uh, meanwhile, <laughs> has taken quite a lot of damage. I think it's trying to run away, but the Anhalt here, more than capable of... Uh, well, Triumph is technically half an hour faster, but let's be honest here, not when... Uh, Half the ship is flooded, the other half's on fire, and two of the engine rooms are out of commission. Actually, 
especially on those 15 inch guns though, they do at least just a little bit to be desired to kind of main gun. Still better than the uh, 15s on the old British ships. Keep flooding that rear section. Okay, that big hit, but again on already flooded sections. <laughs> Seriously, stop hitting the same run of the ship over and over and over again. See, WE um, saying here that good at mental arithmetic but terrible at algebra. I'm exactly the other way around. That's the end of the triumph, by the way. There we go. Well, I think that was a very successful um, start to the campaign. Um, and I look forward to doing some more. Uh, that's the only one I'll do today, um, just in case you want to uh, adjust any of the, the latest scenarios. Um, but uh, you can, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can expect to see uh, some more uh, a follow-up to this mission um, in a late, in later upcoming video. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I like that ship. Pretty, pretty nice ship. Pretty effective as well. Um, so effective, I could waffle on about maths with people in Twitch chat uh, instead of paying attention to what I was doing, which is pretty good if you ask me. Anyway, those of you on Twitch, we're going to go straight into uh, another scenario. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, those of you on YouTube, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.